Yes, I can, and I'm, I'm confident. What are you planning to do? What are you planning on? Um, we'll do a lot of control stuff, um, um, specifically stuff that um, I've been cleared from the doctor to do. So I'm excited to do the best, do my best, and um, like I said, I'll be confident. Oh, like, so what, what I won't do all of the testing stuff, but position specific stuff, I'll do that in a controlled environment. What's it like? Been, uh, as you get ready for this day tomorrow, what has that preparation been like? Preparation's been long, you know, um, still overcoming the, the injury I, I suffered um, against Oklahoma. It's been very strategic um, in the sense of following doctor's orders, being patient, but also being aggressive in certain, in certain instances um, throughout um, rehab and physical therapy. When could you start? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like I'm a go hard guy any any job I get, and I think the biggest thing I always looked at um, five months post post um, injury, one to two days, trying to do too much, too extra can set me back and waste all of that time that I've done for preparation for a rehab. When do they think it'll be 100%? By OTAs, and uh, we're taking a very cautious approach um, with the with the testing and everything we've been doing and um, just trying to protect me and do what's best for the long term. You had that hybrid role defensive end linebacker here. What, yes. what are people looking at you at primarily? Right Pretty much the same. It's, it's, it's good um, having played in a 4-3 and a 3-4 with Coach Sal, um, with Coach Julian Wilcox, um, you know, John Jancic, um, those defenses I can, I understand outside backer from a 3-4, I understand um, outside backer from a 4-3 as well as defensive end. And the way Justin kind of responds after not getting drafted and then playing final rule for the Patriots. Yes. How encouraging is that for I mean, I imagine you're going to be probably a late ring guy and yes. a free agent to see that somebody's been able to kind of be disappointed on draft week and it's still make a bunch of Yeah, um, you know, drafting, getting drafted is, is, very, is a very high goal of a lot of, um, of every football player. But at the end of the day, it's the end product. It's um, getting through this process. And I know my abilities, and I'm confident in my abilities when I am healthy, and I know, I know what I can bring to a team and an organization. What is the timetable for it? Like, when do you think you could be ready to kind of contribute? That's that's hard to say. I, I wish I could know a time. I think that's on God. But um, OTAs, um, training camp, will be a time where we get more aggressive and start doing everything more heavily. Sorry. How Sorry. How many teams that. did you? I met with a lot of teams informal, um, a lot of good talks of a lot of good chan chances to sit down with some some outside linebacker coaches, defensive line coaches, and just really communicate and talk ball. How different How is this experience? Your your no, I'm not. And looking at the numbers, like looking at sheets of paper and everything that's, that's on it, it's a long list. but. Um, my health is good otherwise, other than my hip is still in that um, recovery phase, but I don't know, it, it was good, it was all good. How different is this experience compared to when you're when you're picking a college and now you're trying to get teams to pick you? It's good, it's, it's very good. I think I'm grateful for my chance and my opportunity at Tennessee from having my internships, from meeting with you guys on a regular basis, being able to conduct myself in a, in a business manner. And I think it, at the combine, I learned, and the biggest thing I learned was I'm my own business, and the way I carry myself, the way I speak, and I'm I'm looking to get hired. So I think that was very good, and I think that Tennessee prepared me very well. On that note, what are you trying to sell to teams overall? It, it, looking at yourself as a business, what's the kind of the sales pitch that you're making to teams when you talk to them? Now? First thing is um, character. I won't be a liability in any way to an organization. Um, I'll be a guy that work hard. Um, and I, I have a strong passion for football. So those three things just, I think, will stand out to me. You've spoken to your lawyer about the accusation of the lawsuit, but how much does that come up when teams talk to you? How concerned are you about that maybe impacting your stock at all? Um, it's came up a few times. I'm not worried about that impacting my stock. Um, for people that know me, like I said before, know my character and know what what I stand for and what I, yeah, what I stand for. So I, that, that's, that's not a big worry to me at all. Yeah. Um, to an extent, 
I knew that Tennessee wasn't exactly where we could be. And I think that this past season kind of put us over the hump in the sense of it's a standard and an expectation coming in with, with freshmen. They, they know they're not coming into a, um, a crappy organization that, in, in no sense. They know they got to come in and compete or they'll be an outlier. So I think that getting Tennessee back, that was my that was my biggest goal. And that's why I came into Tennessee. On the flip side of that, how much did you think about a six year? What's that? How much did you think about a six year with all went into the decision to, to come out now? That that was a hard decision. You know, I, I'll be at Tennessee as long as I could if, if that was possible. You know, but um, after weighing everything, injuries and all this and that, just having a chance to, to take my shot and do it right now, I think that that's, that was the best decision. Speaking with my my dad, brother, mentors, you know. I'm sorry. When you, when you are limited, more soreness, or is it just more about the time you don't do it? Yeah, it's doc, Doc's orders, you know, I'm just doing, doing what Doc said, like we talked about earlier, not trying to go too far too fast. Real quick, we, we, you, Steve asked about the lawyer thing. Do you want to add anything to that statement that you gave out of the combine and you're sticking with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with what I said at the combine. And like the biggest thing I said, I, I stand by Tennessee's culture 100% and um, hmm. the job Coach Jones has been doing so far. Good. Thanks, Thanks Kurt. Thank you all. Thank you.